some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Edmonds, Washington, with the fraudster known as Inland Auditing Media, as he gets trespassed from their local uh, water treatment facility, as, well, he apparently doesn't know what the hell he's doing anyway. So, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, everyone, I am free. April 17, 2024. I'm in the city of Edmonds, Snohomish County, Washington State. I'm actually here at the uh, wastewater treatment plant working on a story. Oh yeah, the typical fraudulent story that uh, you're working on a story, but something that you never really publish. Uh, something that's not exactly useful to everybody. Here's an idea for a uh, journalistic article that you should uh, actually publish. The lack of journalistic ethics on the part of First Amendment auditors within the United States. Yeah, that would be a great title right there. Got some uh, tips and leads that there was some poor behavior from employees here that they were having a hard time with public records requests, so I am going to see if that's the case. I'm just getting some B-roll footage right now. Well, you never do go into the full explanation as to why they have trouble with uh, public records requests. I mean, but they do. They get into it, and, uh, well, their reason is a lot more honest than yours. And this particular point right here is not the reason why you got trespassed. That comes a bit later. I'm just looking to see if I can get a PRR form. PRR form? Public records request. Oh, okay. Um, I'll wait for you here. Let's see if I can get one. Thanks. Appreciate it. I guess to get one of those, you have to go up to City Hall. Do you know where City Hall's at? I. Oh, I mean, if you guys just got a blank piece of paper, I can fill it out on that, too. Um, I don't know. I was just told oh, sure, to okay. pick those up at City Hall. Can I help you? Yeah, I was just looking to see if you guys have a PRR form. If you don't, I can just We do don't it. here. Okay, you just got a blank piece of paper and I'll just fill it out and hand it back to you guys. Um, Thanks. I guess in this case, a blank piece of paper. A blank piece of paper? Yep. For? It's going to fill out a request and submit it to us. Oh, you need to go to City Hall. Yeah. City Hall, this is the wastewater treatment plant, and we don't have information for you here. They, you got to fill the request up at City Hall and submit it up there. Oh, I know you can't provide me with the information now. I was just, I don't really want to not really feel like walking all the way over there. So I was just going to fill it out. And we don't have it in here. So. Yeah, well, you don't have any blank paper here? We, uh, we, we, you can go online and that, that's and not our department i guess request. we don't we don't uh, uh, so you can do have it. any yeah. correspondence with city hall
Are you sure about that? Because, well, the thing that I found, well, was very easy to find and really shows that you didn't do your due diligence, which basically means that you violated two out of the four rules of the ethics code that journalists have. So let's uh, see what you did wrong right here. Under the Frequently Asked section page of their website, there is a question, how do I submit a public records request? The answer, the preferred method for submitting a public records request is electronically by selecting uh, submit a request using our record center. By submitting the uh, request electronically, you'll be able to track the status of your request, manage your account information, and retrieve most responsive records in My Request Center. Requests for public records need to be submitted either electronically using Record Center or in writing. This is done to ensure that we have an accurate record of your request and can supply you with the correct records that you're looking to obtain. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Right here at the bottom, it states, if you prefer to complete a written request, please download and print our public rec records form. The form can be mailed, faxed, or hand-delivered to, well, looky what we got here. We got the address to City Hall in Edmonds, Washington. So, dude, yeah, yeah, that seems like they want all their records requests to be processed there. And I can imagine why, because it's a lot easier to get that stuff done over there. So, yeah, you didn't exactly do your due diligence or your homework at all. Just like any other fraud editor, huh? Other than our emails. Do you have a car for you with? Uh, I'd rather not. Say now. Uh, so, okay, you get, then, so you guys are saying please go to City I can't Hall and, and submit a public record yeah, request. Please go to the City Hall, City Hall and submit your request. Yeah, yeah. that's where you, you do okay. your official request. We don't accept them here. And what leads you to believe that? Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass! Such a dumbass! You're an ass! Uh, we're the wastewater treatment plant. Please leave now or give me your car please whoa hold on a minute you are you're in a public facility yes you're right you're in a public facility yes you're right that's right so you work and for the government so, right so i want to see your id oh you do yes okay that's called the four this is a secure facility someone let me in it is. and now i'm doing business yes no, by now, uh, it's been established that uh, you have no business here. Your business is at City Hall, where the public records requests are done. Not here, where there's actual uh, water treatment work that needs to be done here. And you are holding these guys up because you are a total moron who failed to do his due diligence and research. Something a real journalist would have already done a long time ago. No, you're not doing business. You I have a business with us? Yes. Are you delivering something to the city? No, that's not the only business. That's Are you delivering town. something? We, we this is the only business treatment. that we do it's here at the Wastewater Treatment, treatment Plant. Plan. You're getting really escalated, so, sir. And as much as I appreciate call coming out... the police department. Call, call police. Yes. Yeah. Thank as you. As much as I really appreciate... I want to see your ID first. Okay, sir. In no universe, and I mean no universe, will you ever... You're not going to get into a secure facility sir, without an ID. employee let me in. He didn't know what he was doing. That's fine. But just because I can't. Do you mind stepping out, please? I do, because I'm trying to actually get a public no. record request done. Step out, please. This is a secure facility, and we need you outside. Sorry, Without your ID, I cannot uh, let you uh, into uh, the facility. Look, why don't you just hear me out for a sec, okay? I, I want to see your ID, uh, please. Sir. I'm trying to get something done, okay? What I'd really like to get done, if you can just get me a piece of paper and a no. pen, I'll fill out my request, I'll hand it back to you. And who are you, by the way? Are you an employee? I'm the public course director for the city. Okay, it's so a public course director. 200 Second Avenue South, yes. So if you can help me out with a piece of paper and a pen. No. I told you where to get the public request. My name is Ross Hall. And this is a secure facility, <laughs> you know. And that's why I'm not going beyond the, the lobby, sir. Please. Okay. okay. Sir, I'm asking you to leave now. Sir. I'm just trying to get a public record request. I'm asking you to leave. Why are you unwilling to help me? I'm asking you to leave because you have no business here and this is a secure well, facility. He's, he's sir. wearing a mask, he 
I do have business here. I'm trying to get a public records request done. You know how to issue a public post request, right? Yeah. You go to our website, you request it there. There's five ways to do it. So you can fax, you can email, you okay. can do it in person. Go into the office. You can email. Okay. This is can not the place for that. This is not City Hall. <laughs> Sir, it's a, it's a public works facility. So all I'm trying to do is just fill out a public records request, okay? You don't do that here. If you can just give me a blank piece of paper and a pen, I'm happy to fill it out and send it back. Just, just verbal, but he refuses to leave the property. It just says a uh, wastewater treatment plant in an industrial setting, and we have hazards in here, and and uh, the public public's not uh, supposed to be. Well, duh, there are no signs pertaining to that inside this building because, well, obviously there's no chemical store in this particular part of the building, but outside where you see signs like this saying corrosive chemicals, they were all over the place. You just don't want to mention them, mention them in your video, dude, especially this one right here. Do you know what this means? If you don't, then you have no real authorization to be on the property anyway, because this could pose a potential hazard to your health, you moron. Just take a look at this little uh, info sheet right here on this particular chemical, and you'll see how much danger you could have potentially been in, you doofus. But hey, I guess having a brain is not exactly a requirement for you frauditors, is it? Can you give me a piece of paper? I'll fill it out, hand it back to you. Call it good. Oh, actually, hold on. You got a piece of paper here? Hey, Michelle, can you send me one of your patrols to the uh, no, wastewater treatment not. plant? Okay. Yeah, I have a, a gentleman here that walked into the facility. Uh, you know what? We might as well just go ahead and skip on to the end because this guy has all sorts of arguments that are, that are nothing but circular reasoning. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage where the cops show up and uh, we'll make him leave. Many, many minutes later. So I've signed in. Okay. So can I just get a piece of paper so that I can get this done? Because that's really all I'm looking to do is just fill out the public records request form, get it done, Hello. submit it. Hello. Can you step outside so I can talk to Am you? Am I being trespassed? Yes. Okay, and if I don't leave, I'll be arrested? Yes. Okay, fair enough. Let's go out to the sidewalk. Sure. So you were already trespassing. So you were already trespassing. And how would you know that? Because... Uh, well, you don't even have the due diligence enough to uh, do your research to look this particular tidbit of information up. So how can you be trusted to know if this officer did his job or not? At this point, uh, what you say is just totally meaningless and uh, comes right out of your ass. No. By entering areas that are posted, um, clearly posted. Yeah, I didn't enter into it. I have it okay. on video evidence. Well, that's fine. I have witnesses that say you. different. I have video evidence. Okay. I have witnesses that say different. Okay. Um, what is your name? Um, I really don't want to get my identity. Okay. You're just here trying to get a public records request? All right. That needs to be done at City Hall. Okay. <laughs> Look, I understand what you're okay. saying, but it's that's just not factual. It's okay. Not, it's not reporting with You need to go to City Hall. You can't go back here. If you go back here, I'll arrest you and take you to jail. Okay. Is there any part of that that you don't understand? Oh, no, no. I okay, totally we're done. Do you have a business card? Nope. What's your name and your ID number? Sergeant Smith, 1619. Okay, do you guys have... You already have that? your business card. I don't have hers. Hey, Sergeant, you don't got to get upset. You're being really rude. Uh, Willie tries to get names and badge numbers for the next few minutes so he can go and file a complaint uh, with the local police department. But even then, it still doesn't get him anywhere because, well, you know, you get trespassed from a chemical plant. You deserved it because you don't know what the hell is going on. Those chemicals in there are nothing to play around with, you jackass. So it's quite understandable they'd be protective of it. So dude, uh, go do like the Scarecrow did in The Wizard of Oz and do us all a favor and get yourself a damn brain before you hurt yourself. If you have stayed this long, well, I've got a reward for you. 
a classic bit of footage from a Taco Terry arrest. So let's go ahead and roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? What would you do if they hadn't accepted the paper? They have to. There has to be an agent of the state here to accept legal documentation during business hours on a business day. They're, they can't just, they can't refuse to accept legal documentation. There has to be somebody here to accept it. What's his name? I'm going to need his information because, like I said, he attacked me. Melissa Lou, how y'all doing? So I'm down here back at the uh, Calvert County Health Department. I walked in, I asked for the gentleman champ who was here last time and gave me permission to film. That door's normally wide open. There's also cameras in there. He went back there. So when I got over here, as soon as I got over here, this gentleman actually followed me in the building. He said that I matched a description of somebody else that he had a picture of, but then also said that he didn't get a clear look at me. So I'm not quite sure how I matched a description when he didn't get a clear look at me. Anyway, I asked for Champ to come out so I could drop off this letter of intent to sue that I'm here to drop off to them. And he came out with the health director, Dr. You said Pulaski, Pulaski, something like that. And the guy came out and actually attacked me, he tried to grab my camera uh, when I took a step back and inform him that that was actually assault. And if he attempted to do it again, I would defend myself. Oh, did your poor little camera get touched? Is it okay? Does it need some cookies? Sorry, Terry, but I would offer you some cookies, but you're just too much of an asshole. So in the words of so many other frauditors, go kick rocks. He turned and had this lady call 911 and act as if I was out here causing the disturbance, even though he just attacked me. So now they're trying to say that this public lobby of this public building is somehow protected by HIPAA. And that uh, they're, they're calling the state's attorney to confirm that it's protected by HIPAA because apparently the state's attorney makes the laws now. Wow. Are you really that stupid? Well, that's a rhetorical question because yes, you are. I mean, the state's attorney does not determine what the laws are. He, they just research what the laws are. And if that building is covered by HIPAA laws, then you are most likely violating HIPAA regulations by recording in there. And as you will hear later on, there are signs posted all over the place, but he's not going to show them, of course. And, of course, we know that uh, Taco Terry shows little to no respect for HIPAA laws at all. He doesn't care about patient confidentiality. So, again, I literally was here to drop off a piece of paper, and I'd be gone by now. It's a 30-second interaction. I'm not quite sure why when the guy came out here to get the piece of paper, he decided to attack me. But, yeah, you're not allowed to grab people's shit. That's what I'm saying. HIPAA is for them. I have no obligation to, to for any of that, but this is a public lobby. Well, I guess you don't have any obligation to be a decent human being, I guess. Which makes me wonder something about you, Taco Terry. Let me ask you a question. Anyway, how is your sex life? Given your nasty attitude, I would suppose it's non-existent. This is at the Calvert County Department of Health. So this is a healthcare facility? Yeah, so they are protected by HIPAA, you moron. Not that you care about that kind of thing. So my camera's actually got this really cool technology. GoPro released this update recently, a firmware update, where it's got a HIPAA filter. So like any health environment, like information, it automatically just like bleeps out and blurs out. It's a great new, uh, it's great technology. Citation, citation, citation needed. Citation filter needed. I can smell the bullshit all the way from Florida. And that's quite an achievement right there. Absolutely, I'm going to get that footage. I 
he is not allowed to recruit anywhere in the building. Yes, I am. So, sir, we spoke to the state attorney's office for Tower 10, mm -hmm. and you're saying that this building is protected and you cannot. It's not protected. Anyway. It's a public building. Well, that's what we're letting you know. Okay. So if you don't stop, then you're going to be charged. Okay. 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 So what would you like to do? I'd like to drop off my paperwork and then go about my business. Okay, I'm not trying to stay here and film at all. Like, what part of that do you guys not get that I was attacked? You guys have cameras on, correct? Do you guys have your cameras on? Are you going to turn your cameras off? Are you going to go tell them to turn the camera behind that door off that's on right now in this public lobby? When I walked in, Sir, can I, can I show you that there's a camera actually right here in this public lobby that's publicly accessible that I can access with the Public Information Act request? So how can they film? in this lobby and the public access it and then them tell me that i can't film in this lobby okay they're filming and it's publicly accessible why can i not film okay so here's here's the deal okay all right you as a citizen private individual coming in uh-huh right, you're not allowed to film in this building. can you explain what law i'm in violation of can you explain what law i'm in violation so of officer we're getting directive and direction from our state's attorney i know but i'm asking you what law i'm in violation of i don't have that so you don't know what law I'm in violation I'm of, but you're you, telling me that I'm in violation of it. What I'm telling it. you is that the state's attorney uh -huh. happened, has advised that And what I'm asking you, sir. You're not allowed to film. Sir, can I get your supervisor out here, please? Well, I'm, I am a supervisor, and this is. Okay, so you're one of the supervisors. Can I get your supervisor and or your supervisor out here? Because I'm asking you what law I'm in violation of right now, and nobody can tell me. So you're telling me that, I'm sorry. First off, are you threatening to arrest me if I don't turn my camera off? Well, first of all, I'm not threatening anything. Okay, all right, cool. None of us, no one is threatening anybody. Okay, all right. I just want to make sure. What, what, we're, what we're trying to get at with you is right, services can be refused. I'm not here for services, sir. I'm here to drop off legal documentation. Well, they don't have a right to refuse that. Well, there has to be an agent of the state, an authorized agent of the state here to accept. Right now, beyond that, what we're saying is you're, you're not there, No, there's nothing beyond, beyond that, sir. To I'm here to drop off. I'm allowed to film myself no, doing my legal and lawful business. We're not going to do is we're not going to you're right keep going you're right we're not around you're right we're not we're not going around anywhere i'm here at the counter to drop off this piece of so paper and leave or under the again i'm simply asking to drop off this piece of paper and to leave Why don't you just do that then? i've asked that multiple times they won't come. when he came out here sir to get the piece of paper the guy that came out with him attacked me like i've explained it multiple times i'm not here to walk around the building on an audit i was here to drop off this piece of paper and delete right here i can't i need to give it to the legal agent an authorized agent that would be the gentleman champ because he specifically gave me permission to film the last time i was in this building it's what you guys don't want to acknowledge is that i've already been given permission by the deputy health director to film in this building and all around it he's already informed me that his staff should be trained and well known and of who what is the deputy health director champ Thomas Scuddy, the gentleman who came out here with Dr. Pawlowski when he attacked me, the gentleman that I've asked for this entire time that I've been here. So the gentleman who gave me permission came out here, watched the other guy attack me, not accept the paperwork and leave. So like you're, you're sitting here trying to arrest me, but yet all I'm trying to do is drop off. Okay, then let me, okay, you're right. Then please abide by the rules, provide me with an authorized agent of the state during business hours on a business day to accept my legal documentation and I'll be on my way. Probably not accepted because you're violating it, 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 No, 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 no. Okay. Sir, please. So what we're coming into if so right I mean, now we've asked yourself, you just but... to stop filming and leave, right? So we do have we do have trespass public business during our Okay, so six dash four oh nine. Yeah. Okay. Is the Maryland trespass so, statute? I have yeah, you tend to quote that in every one of your videos, and you are always wrong about it because you are always a disruptive influence to the business. So you know what? I'm going to skip ahead to the part where you get arrested because I don't want this video to be above 20 minutes long. And mostly because you've got a lot of circular arguments that you just keep on going over and over. So I'm not going to subject my audience to any of that BS. But before we get to the arrest, I think we'll just show what he thinks is the assault when he tries to show the officer what it is. And the officer doesn't really buy it, so we'll move on immediately after that. A little longer than a few minutes later. Hey, Captain, maybe you want to watch this gentleman assault me. We can all watch it together. And I'll swallow when no one wants to say anything. <laughs> Oh, 
they'll smile at you from up there, but then you say hello, they don't want to say nothing. May I said hello to the people? Yeah, you're not allowed to work with private companies to like hinder people's First Amendment rights. You're also not allowed to sit there and file legal complaints, apparently, saying that his information is private, so we're going to come figure out why he is uh, filing legal documentation that his identity is somehow private information when it's all publicly accessible. As you see that door there was over the entire time. Excuse me. Sorry, ma'am. See, as I, as I was telling him, by them shutting that door, that's in a violation of 10-201, section C and D, obstruction of a public entrance way, doorway, hallway, roadway, sidewalk. Again, you're quoting laws that you have little to no understanding of, uh, just like any other frauditor. It also says in that same section that one will not act disorderly and you tend to do that all the damn time so they're actually illegally shutting that door thank you very much ma'am awesome awesome she was really cool the last time i was here too she's very nice she's very cool and very nice oh does that sound like someone causing a disturbance out here or does that sound like someone acknowledging these people were actually nice to me you guys listen to what these people say on the phone so much, and you believe everything they say so much that you'll come out here just like guns a blazing, ready to treat someone like shit. You guys have six officers out here right now. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Please don't touch my equipment, sir. You need to turn that off. Okay, but you're not allowed to touch my equipment. This is my property. This is an extension of my body, and that is assault and battery. Do not touch my property again, or I will be forced to defend myself. We want we want to run. It's being locked and do it again. Call law enforcement. I'm going to call law enforcement myself because you just touched my property, sir. That is not allowed. Are you a law enforcement officer? Oh, he touched your little camera. Do you want to go home and cry in your pillow, get some chocolate chip cookies and some milk? And you want your mommy to read you a bedtime story so you can fall right asleep, so you can forget about that nasty old man who touched your camera? But welcome to reality, you whiny punk, because that's not going to happen. Suck it up, buttercup. Because I'm tired of listening to this whiny little punk, I will go and skip to the end because there's only so much I can take of him. Many, many minutes later. That was kind of my, like, argument to it all. Okay, sir. All right, so what's the business? What's the I just business need that guy's information so I could file those charges and coordinate with the commissioner's <laughs> office. So it's Dr. S. This is not a disinfection copy. Oh, well, that wasn't for you. So it's Dr. Polsky. Well, the paperwork wasn't for you. Why do you have a copy so of my... So it's Dr. Polsky. Polsky? Okay. And his birth date and his address? I, don't know. I need all of that information to I file charges. You, you, sir, you know I need that information to file charges to the commissioner's office. I don't have that for you. Okay, well, we're going to have to go get that because he's right here, and I just showed your captain evidence of him assaulting me in my property. Okay. Well, we don't have that for you. You can go get it. Right. We don't have that for you. So the right. Calvert County Sheriff's he's, Department he's is in dereliction of duty. When you start hearing dereliction of duty with these idiots, you're starting to get into sovereign citizen territory. But sir, you're the law enforcement officer. He's, He's legally right. obligated to give it to you. He's not providing sir, he you committed a crime. He committed a crime that you witnessed. You have the legal obligation. You did. I just showed you. I just I showed you evidence of it. Enough. I showed you evidence of it. Not witness you witnessed it on video, right? I did not. You didn't see it? I, I didn't show you my video? I saw a video. I didn't witness a crime. But you witnessed the video, correct? I did witness So then you go and you ID him. So let me ask you this, sir. If somebody were to commit a burglary on the Wawa across the street and you guys didn't see it, but they showed you a video, would you say, oh, I didn't see the burglary happen? They would say, no, I just showed you evidence. I just showed you video of this happening. You would take down the person's picture. You would put out an APB. Y'all are putting people's pictures out there for not paying child support on Facebook. God forbid if somebody came down here and attacked somebody, would you would put on fucking Facebook. So don't sit here and tell me you didn't witness it or that you're not legally obligated to go get his information and give you it to me. I don't. I need his birthday Dr. and his address. Use this address. I need his I birthday. Information. You can go get it by no, legally IDing him because he committed a crime. You think he did? I don't think he did. I showed I you. Observe that. I showed I you that he did. It and I don't agree with I showed you that he did. I saw a man. It's not out. for you to agree at. I'm it's not you for know. you to agree I'm with, sir. You know. You're not judge and jury. I'm it's not for you, you to agree with. It's for you to go do your job that you're legally obligated to do. 
you're still videotaping in a restricted area. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You're not videotaping. I'm not videotaping in a restricted area. You are. No, I'm not. You are. So I need his information. You need to stop videotaping in a restricted area. I'm not in a restricted area, sir. You are. I'm in the entranceway of a public lobby. Correct, which is identified by signage that says there's no 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 videotaping. Is there some sort of law that goes around with that signage, or they just put a sign up there? Because I got a sign that says you owe me ten dollars every time you guys don't do your job. Is somebody going to pull out sixty bucks and hand it to me right now? And I've got a sign that says that every time you misquote laws, I get ten bucks. But I don't think you'll be able to pay five million dollars to me. Though I think we can come to a reasonable agreement that you could pay me, oh, about a thousand dollars a week until you get it paid off. Yeah, that should work out. No. So what's going to happen is we're not going to keep going. Around I know you're going to do your job and provide me with the information for the so gentleman that assaulted me. Earlier, earlier we went around and around for a while, mm -hmm. right? and we finally allowed you to present your paperwork, right? which. Well, you're saying allowed, like I need Which your permission to do my not, legal and lawful business. I don't need your need, permission to do my legal and lawful business, sir. To allow you, to I, do you don't have to allow me to do anything. It's my legal and lawful business. I don't need your they permission to out, do it. Took the paperwork from me. Absolutely, right? they did. They also then, assaulted me. And then you left. So you have you have information you need. That you I don't. Know you have enough. I don't. To go no. and file charges. I don't. Right? I don't have, have his birthday. Go. You have enough to go. And no, I don't, sir. No, I don't. Right? So. What's happening now is now you're being asked. Okay, I'm being asked? To leave. Okay, I'm being asked. You're being asked to leave. So that's a request and I have the right to respectfully so, decline it? So if you don't leave, right, you do know that that is trespassing. No, I don't right? because this is a public agency and I have legal and lawful you, business. You do know the laws regarding a public agency and now you have no lawful business here. I do have legal and lawful, right? business. lawful business. I do. So are you going to leave? Well, hold on now. Are you trying to say that before this moment that I did, sir? So are you saying that you were lying earlier that I was in violation and that I did have legal and lawful business lying. earlier? Wasn't I lying earlier? Are you saying now, earlier that you were lying business, by saying I didn't have legal and lawful business? Concluded. You don't decide when my business is you concluded. Left. You don't decide when my business is concluded, sir. You, have you don't decide business. when my business left. is concluded. Are you going to leave? Are you going to stop filming and leave? I don't answer questions, brother. Okay. So for the second time, and I'm not going to... I'm not going to ask beyond that. I'm asking you to uh -huh. stop filming and leave. And I'm asking you to provide me the proper information so that I can fire right. it. Let's go ahead and put your hands on your back, please. Okay. Well, Terry boy, if stupid were a sport, you would be a superstar. But that's besides the point. In the meantime, I'm sure uh, Bubba and the boys would be only too happy to welcome you into their home. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?